Deborah, where, where are you? I'm in Gloucester. Are you in Gloucester? Your Royal I'm Highness, in... welcome to my home. Thank you very much. Um, I'm, I'm not so far away. Right. You're also in Gloucestershire. I am indeed. Um, I'm sort of 500 feet up, though. <laughs> wow. But you served right the way through the war, is that right? Did you just no, sign no. up? I was in QE from East London, that escaped from the bombing. Oh, that's I was, right. I was born in 1925, and I was an East Londoner, and we'd already received a lot of German children into our grammar school and other schools in East London. And I was evacuated with this school. And we, when I got my matriculation, I returned to my home in East London and immediately volunteered for the services because it was the thing to do. We got to get this war finished, hadn't we? Right. Wow. How old? How old were you then? I was seventeen and a half when I came back to London. When I came back to London and volunteered, but they, because I'd had the privilege of physics and maths in my um, matriculation studies and done well at it. There weren't many people doing that. They said, no, you can't be a cook. You've got to wait for a college course and you've got to learn about uh, radio communication into oh. our aeroplanes. Yeah. And uh, because they didn't have it, you know, in the first no. place. A lot of your service was in with the fleet air arm, is that right? With, with the fleet air arm, yes. In I West learned, country. Yes. Mm -hmm. and I, I just ran the home county in in britain i didn't go on an aircraft carrier mm. my brother did he 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 went ahead of me he i was following in his footsteps and uh we were not allowed to leave on aircraft carriers during that period of the war it was towards the end of the war i was actually practicing from 1943 to 46 but it, it was it challenged me it stretched me I learned yeah. about death. Yes. And have you found yourself very restricted recently? Very, I mean, yes. But yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in one of those special statuses called um, exceptionally vulnerable. So I'm not allowed out of my flat that I'm, but I'm so lucky to have a warm flat. Mm. And I, I got, I'm lucky to have some IT skills, which I didn't yes. learn until later in my life till I was 70 something and they're not very good I hang on I live in hope <laughs> that I'm going to get better <laughs> but I was your age when I started to learn <laughs> well I, I feel there is that yes <laughs> there's a lot more to be learned never stops though does it no I think you, that's the good thing you keep on learning it keeps you going mm. but never I, I'm and I think that we I've been able to keep a, a ability to change my mind on things. I think that's another. Um, that's a skill of its own. Mm. But you're involved with the Bra the Wrens Association, aren't you? Yes, so, they, they nominated me because of my war service, and I became a member of that association when I got here, mm. because my daughter said you you need to work with outside organisations. You mustn't just stay in the same. 200 mm. people you need to move out and get to know the area you know i i'm not good in my mobility and i'm worried about that with not getting out of the flat but i got instruction from my grandchildren i got to stamp about the flat from each room and pretend i'm doing physical work very good and there's some actually quite good sort of sitting down exercises, but I won't bother you with those. Anyway, yes, <laughs> thank I do you those. so much, Deborah. It's a real pleasure to speak to you. And, and I, you. Hope, I hope your memories on VE Day are, are, are mostly good. Thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.